Okay guys, today, I didn't know this, and in my update video, I want to apologize because I said that Roche Marguerite wasn't coming out till Thursday, but, but for some reason, it released today. And you know, my free-to-play team is not complete yet, so you might not even see this video if I have to use a pearl. But you know, we're going to be running through this free-to-play units only, and for y'all that are going to be saying that I copied Hero's video idea because he started doing free-to-play runs, if you did not know... I did not copy him. You can ask anyone in my stream or any one of my friends. I've been wanting to do free to play units for like over like a month and a half now, but I haven't had time and I have we haven't had very good free to play units to actually run through the raids with that well without having to fully max limit break them because I have a series on my channel. So I'm not trying to copy anyone. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do this and I want to change my team up just a little bit because I ran this once before. And, you know, it wasn't hard at all. It was pretty fucking simple. My only problem is we don't have a free-to-play healer besides the Ambu healer, uh, the female Ambu healer, and I can't find where I can get her to drop at. So, we're going to run it like this, and if you're wondering why I'm running it like this, I'm going to explain to you once we get into the raid. So, let's go ahead and start this shit. We're going to be doing A rank free-to-play only. Now, I highly doubt if I'll do S rank free to play only because S rank free to play only is hard as fuck. I don't think it's physically possible to tell you the truth because, you know, no one was letting me join. I was trying to see how hard um, the S rank was so I can let y'all know in this video, but so far I won't be able to know. So there will most likely be a lot of videos on this raid because I'll have a collab planned with uh, Rain and Spontaneous and I think I might do another S rank collab. I'm not too sure. So we're looking for a Jiraiya. There we go. We're taking Mr. Great's Jiraiya. Shout out to you, Mr. Great. So yeah. So the reason we're running this setup here is because we can switch Toby Rama and Lee in to do not only to do damage, but to take less damage because they are body units. And that way, both those Jiraiyas give us 120 health. And that Sakura will always give Sasuke the 120 health. And the reason we don't have a body unit there is because we want Sasuke for his perfect dodges. And Sasuke's uh, Shidori Laminate actually does a good amount of damage. So we're going to go ahead and start off. This guy's attacking first, so we're going to keep him over here. We don't want him close to us now. We're going to also attack here like this. No, wait, Tom. Let's switch to Lee. Switch to Lee. Can we hit... Okay, so we're going to have to hit like this, which is not too bad. The one at the top will attack us. we will attack the Sasuke. And then these two will attack us down here, which is not too bad at all. It's not too much of a worry. Health isn't too much of a big deal here, really. Um, I'm going to have to attack like this. Will that kill him? Thank you. That kills him. Okay, so now we have all these in, which is kind of annoying. Is this AoE? I don't remember. It is not AoE, so we don't want to be using that. Switch back to here. Attack like this. We do not have rock. And now I didn't want to have to do use this, but since and it's already lagging, bro. What the fuck is this? Tell me, let me. I'm gonna start closing shit. I'm gonna start closing shit to see if that helps. Uh, da -da 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 -da. okay. I closed physically everything that I could physically close, and it's still lagging. But you know, like I said, shit happens with this game. This emulator is a piece of shit, so if it lags too bad like it did last time, I will try to find a different emulator to use for the next video so it doesn't do this again. So, yeah, that will be that. Okay, so I don't know if I want to stall right now. For the fact, not for help, but for jutsus, because we are going to have to deal with a with Orochimaru and Kabuto, and I want to make sure Jiraiya and them have their max jutsus. And last time I ran through this, I didn't have to use Jiraiya's um, ninjutsu. So, okay, he killed him. It's not, not too big of a deal. So, we got some health going anyway. We're, we're, at max, we're at max health, so that's dope. So, let's see here. We're going to start off with this. We're going to use this because Rock Lee's jutsu is not really important. It's just an AoE attack. It doesn't do very much damage at all. I just want to use it to use it, you know. So, let's see. Poo -poo, pew, 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 pew. There it did. Another one spawns in. We'll move to the top and attack him like this. We have that perfect dodge there. Okay, he has some long range apparently. I don't know why he had such long range. We're going to do this. So the key to this is just try to stay semi-spread out. So this what's happening to me 
isn't happening to you. So this guy's attacking first, so we want to kill him. Stay spread out. Just keep knocking people down. The only hard part that I found about this is doing the actual boss fight. Oh, uh, shit. I think I might have to switch to Jiraiya here to do a good amount of damage. There we go. Well, actually, we could have used his ninjutsu, which wouldn't have hurt too much. We should have done that. We should have used his ninjutsu, but it's fine. So, the like I said, the only hard part is Manda, which... It's still, he isn't extremely like, oh my god, I can't do it. So, I'm gonna I'm help you through that when we get there because I died. The fr I've only done this once and I died because I didn't have enough health. I, I couldn't regen the health. I had no healers and I wasn't even run I was only getting 120 heal per turn with that Jiraiya and Rock Lee out. So, when I went into the boss fight, I had full health, but after that, it just went downhill. So, we're going to go ahead and see if we can kill these two people off. Again, I want to apologize for the lag. If it's too bad, I will make sure to re-record this. And I'll make sure I have my free-to-play healer by then, so I'll be good. So, okay, so we really should have got Toby Rama to go first. Because Toby Rama could have hit both of them at one time. But it's fine. We're going to Shidori Laminate uh, Orochimaru, which is going to attack. Um, Kabuto and Orochimaru is all going to attack us. Which is not too big of a deal here. Okay, it might be a big of a deal. They're doing a good amount of damage. Okay, so that's fine. We got those counters with Sasuke. And then we're going to use this ninjutsu, Earth Style Dark Swamp. And hopefully get immobilization. And we got, okay, we immobilized Orochimaru. And then we got Home Dude slipped. And we're going to bring this down here. Hit them with this. Wait, then we're going to move Sasuke up to the ad to keep the ad away from these guys over here. Because we don't want them grouping up. Mm, that's a lot of damage. Okay, so we want this to come up here like that. Then we want to switch this here. Oh shit, I almost fucked up. I have to use a ninjutsu. As long as they don't use ninjutsus on us, we're pretty fine at this point. I I've lost a little bit more health than I did last time. But like I said, it's not too big of a deal. They're going to get a good amount of health off here. Yeah, they're going to get a good amount of health off. They get four attacks there. Okay, he's using a ninjutsu. We have to immobilize. We have to immobilize. Come on, please immobilize. Please. I don't want to lose too much health. Don't want to lose too much. Come on, please just immobilize or kill. Oh, we killed him. Nice. That's even better. Even fucking better. Okay, so what we're going to do... Is actually come down here and see if we can. Okay, so Sasuke is gonna do. Sasuke does. This Sasuke does 18. He does 1900. The Sakura does. Nowhere close to enough. Okay, yeah. So it would be better to attack with Sasuke. And so he will don't get that 1000 healing. But it's not that big of a deal if he does heal though. You know what, fuck it. We're just going to see if we can kill him here. We should be able to. He doesn't have that much health left, but I still feel like he's a semi- Yeah, a semi-tanky. Okay, so yeah. Well, the good thing we have that three-star health bottle at least. Let's see, I think he heals for a thousand? Two thousand, okay. Heals for two thousand, which is not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. We're going to hit him with this, and then we're going to stall. And I kind of figured out how to fast-forward Camtasia, so I will fast-forward these clips, um, so that way you don't have to- Watch me stall the entire time. So yeah, we're going to do this here. Put you there. And then we're going to move you to the top. And we're just going to stall here, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're moving on to the Manda fight, or the giant snake. So pretty much, like always, you want to start off with your third unit being the one he, uh, that you attack with. 
first so you can come out the way of fire now I'm gonna be showing you the safe zone to go here because I didn't know this in my rave review because no one had information about it out yet so but this top area like right up here is the safe zone for the most part so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and use Sasuke's Shidori laminate and you can't really hit that spot so I'm just gonna see if I can just kinda say a little bit well you can't even spread out really I can't get him to the spot I need him to get. It does okay damage. Manda has 1k health. Okay, so yeah, it's a little laggy, just a little bit. So now what we're going to do is start using these. Now, I use this for slip damage because there is a possibility that you can kill the bottom tail area with Jiraiya. But you know what? For the fact that... I'm going to go as far up here as I can go because I don't remember if the tail attacks the bottom or the top. And I don't really, I'm not too keen on killing the tail right now. So, so yeah, he attacks the bottom. So, no, the top. No, it alternates. That alternates. I need to remember that. Okay, so we'll switch here, switch to this, and we're just going to keep lighting this dude up with as much damage as we can. And hopefully we don't die. That's, that's just as simple as that. So we have a danger one now. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to Lee. And we're going to run the fuck up here. To see if this is the one. Yeah, so when his hit does danger, the only safe place to go is the top part of the map. That is the only safe place. So thankfully, I didn't even mean to like test this. Jiraiya's ninjutsu can hit his spot from the safe spot on the map. I think I may have just got out the safe spot, but it can just barely reach him. So that's that's really good. So like I said, we're just going to keep lighting him up with damage so that we're going to try to keep Sakura and Sasuke in like the middle area so that way both of them can't hit him at once. See like right here, if she was up a little bit higher, she wouldn't have got hit, but if it was the other way around, it was the top of the map, then that she would got hit, all three would have got hit. So we're gonna go like this, keep hitting him with this. Now this is where it gets to the hard part because now we're out in Ninjutsu's, and it's practically a stall fest kind of. So we're just gonna keep stalling and hopefully just keep getting. Oh fuck, that's gonna be a lot of damage right there. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot. So we're gonna have to we're gonna switch to Sasuke and we're gonna put him in the top here, and then we're gonna go like this and hide up here some more because I don't want that hitting me I do not want that hitting me at all because that is not safe for that to hit me okay so we dodged two attacks but we, we can't get any damage off right now so we're just going to keep trying to stall a little bit more Sasuke's Sidori is not coming in clutch right now it's not once next turn for Sasuke that's when it'll stop coming in so so we're going to come down here and I'm going to try to keep them as high as we can we're just going to keep branding down on them. We're getting health as we go, but it's only a very, very, very little bit health. It's hardly any health at all. And I found it's pretty hard to move your characters up there. But, you know, at right now, this is the good part here. So we're going to go use this and use this. Now, we could have used Sakura's to do some more damage, but I'd rather have a chance of getting that Shidori Laminate and using see now I can use this get out the line of fire and now we're gonna get hit with one of them I think I think the tail may hit us that's about it though we gave it some more slip damage okay so we missed the snake fang that didn't hit us but now will the tail hit us the tail hit us hidden stink lance that's gonna hit I knew that was gonna hit us that's not too big of a deal here so let's go ahead and move down a little bit and hit him with another dark swamp. Just keep that damage going. Now I think Sakura can actually finish him off. I think Sakura can finish him off. Hopefully. Come on Sakura. Come on Sakura. John, do it. Do it. Come on. Kill him. There we go. Free to play units. A rank. No pearls. And we got the Orochimaru. So I can show you his stats real quick. Because that's fucking amazing. That is fucking lit. And we leveled up. And we fucking leveled up. So, most likely tonight there will be a... Sh well, I don't know about the day you see this. Because I don't know if you're going to see this on 
Thursday or if you're going to see this on Friday. I don't really know because this is my third video recording today. Oh, we didn't get a crystal, though. I got the Roach Mar, though. That art looks pretty sick. I want to go see what he looks awakened real fast before we end off the video because I don't remember what he looks like awakened. So we got that. Oh, and we if we if once we get the Lucky Drop, we have... We got a Ninja Pro for this, so that's really fucking lit, bro. That's really fucking lit. I'm so hyped that I did this easily, too. Like, it wasn't even hard. So, let's go to Awaken and find that Richard Mario. We're going to be getting this guy to 99 luck, just for the fact that um I'm ha I'm a have to. So, yeah. So, let's see what he looks like. Oh, I remember what he looks like now. Let's If it lets me click on him. Come on. Come on. Live it on up. Come on, you can do it. A. Hey. So, what is his health boost, health boost, so he gets 200 extra health, he recovers 300 health with map movement, and he gets a critical rate boost. So he's a, I think he has really good health when he's fully maxed out as well, so he's, he's pretty much a person to keep on healing with, and I think he gives slip damage as well for one of his ninjutsus. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave me a comment down below, tell me that you did, let me know what you got on the summons from this banner. Well, from the skill up banner and what you did and what team you ran for this raid. And anyway, guys, I'll see you the fuck later. Peace.